210. 215, we're gonna hit the jump pad. It's a nice, smooth jump, though. Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5 for another FH5 budget challenge. And if you're asking, Nick, are you gonna lose your mind today? Yes. Y y yes, I will. Our goal is to pick a PR stunt and try to bang out three stars while spending the least amount of money on our car. We can use any car providing you actually can buy it with actual credits in the game. You can do any upgrades that you want, but obviously those upgrades cost money and it will add on to your price. This is the runway danger sign. Arguably one of the most popular danger signs in Forza Horizon 5. Our goal is to hit 1,750 feet in the air and we've got to do it for the least amount of money. Make your prediction down below in the comments what you think our final car is gonna cost to get us three stars. This McLaren F1 is certainly not gonna fly very far with a massive rear. Yeah, look, we're already going down. We might not actually do it. I think you can see how hard this is gonna be today. I don't think we've ever failed our opening stunt before, but there we go. Uh oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, McLaren? McLaren? McLaren! Um, we're just gonna ignore that and we're gonna jump in something cheaper anyways. It doesn't matter. It really shouldn't be that hard to take down the McLaren F1, but what are we gonna use? Oh, I think we have to. I mean, I guess it's accurate when I started this video off by saying, am I gonna have a meltdown? Yes. Please do not do a flip. Keep it down, down, down. Okay, we should be okay. We should be okay. We should be able to land it 2,000 feet. And we nailed it. Our Koenigsegg Jesko has now dethroned our McLaren. $2.8 million on the board now. I think we should try to hit the million mark. 1 million credit Aston Martin Valhalla. I love this car. So cool. I think we're very quickly going to learn what speed we need to hit the jump at to actually jump the distance. I would imagine it's gonna be around 230 miles an hour. There's 215 up into seventh gear, 220. This might be close. Look at it, look at it the way it goes down. All of that downforce, just pulling it down and down and down. We got it though. It doesn't need to be a new personal best. It just needs to beat three stars. So 1,150,000 credits. Are we already about to jump to half a mil? I mean, if we go for a car for half a mil, I think the logical choice for half a mil would be the Hoonigan RS200. If we wanted to be a little bit spicy, I like this thing. We spent half a million credits on the car and another 121,000 on upgrades. Okay. Come on, Ford Super Van. There's just something absolutely insane about driving a van at over 200 miles an hour. It's correction, 250 miles an hour. I think you can see why this is one of my favorite cars in the game. It's just so, so cool. Easily gonna do the jump and it's gonna land it 2,000 thousand feet for this thing. All right, we're already under 1 million credits. That is looking good. And we took a fun car. This Dodge Viper might actually be super good. 300,000 credits spent on the Viper. Is there anything for more horsepower? I can actually get a turbo. It's gonna be the easiest challenge of my goddamn life. There we go. Put the power down. No. Oh, what the... I only have four gears. Edit, 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 edit. I didn't know that. One second. <laughs> 220. Oh my God, this thing is a rocket ship. Why did I not just start with this thing? 250 miles an hour for a 300,000 credit Viper. Like, that's just silly. <laughs> Easy clap. So that was 303,600 credits. Not only are we drastically reducing our budget, we are also trying out some very interesting cars. It's a win-win. So a lot of people in Twitch chat are asking for the Corvette C8. A Corvette C8 is only 65,000. I'm gonna have to do some big, 
big upgrades to it. A thousand one hundred horsepower drag vet. And those are stats I can get behind. So we spent 65,000 credits on the car and another 65,000 credits on upgrades. So it's not exactly cheap per se, but I think it should work if those stats are right. Don't lie to me. Please be able to do 270 miles an hour or even just 230 miles an hour. I think we're realizing that's the threshold. Easy claps for the Corvette C8. That purple paint job looks sick. Two, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not good. Uh, down, come down. Please come down. Uh-oh. All right, I'm gonna go again. I have to give it a little dab of the brake right before we go off the jump so we kind of set the weight of the car forward. Hopefully we don't do a front flip. So, brake. I think that was enough. A tiny little tap of the brakes. That should be good. Lovely jump. Whoa, that's a far jump. Whoa. That is a low budget. You know what? I kind of like the idea of going with something almost a little bit slower and then upgrading it. What could we use? I know in the past we've used this a whole bunch. The Corvette ZR1. You usually can't go wrong with a Corvette ZR1. Like you can swap in an engine or swap in like a supercharger or something. This is the Dodge Viper V10. Swapped into a little Corvette. I mean, it might be able to work. Let's twin turbo this thing. This is 116,000 credits I've spent on this Corvette with all of the upgrades. The only other thing I'm going to need is a sport transmission, which will allow me to tune my gear ratio. Top speed, 258 miles an hour. I know like after this car, we're going to hit a wall where it's going to become super challenging to actually get three stars. Come on. Keep it going. 240. Send it. That's so sick. Even with stock suspension, it doesn't actually even take the jump very well. We got him. 118,000. And now this is, I think, where the pain is going to start to kick in because I want to get this under 100K. Toyota Supra Welcome Pack. This only costs 38,000 credits. It's actually the same price as the normal Supra, but it's already got some upgrades on it. I'm going to need to make it even more powerful, though. I guess we need to run the single turbo for the 2JZ, right? Then let's go weight reduction because that's good bang for buck. Remove 500 pounds out of the car. And then I just need some big horsepower. There we go. 1,300 with that. 17,800 on upgrades. Nice. We don't need any tires for this. No way we need any tires. Engage wheel spin. Okay, I'm going to try to throttle control so I can actually get off the line now we can go it's trying to spin its wheels at 200 miles an hour i mean if this works that would be seriously impressive i only spent 50k on the car oh the front went up i don't know if this will count if i land it we might need to dab the brakes I mean, we jumped far enough. I just got to dab the brakes. Okay. You kind of forget how fast the soup. Well, that was sick. You kind of forget how fast the Supra is though. Okay, brake. It didn't really do the whole nose down thing. Did actually, maybe if I land backwards. <laughs> I'll take it. I have no idea how that worked, but I'll take it. That is how you bring the budget down. When I was actually like planning out this whole challenge, I was like, yeah, there's no way we're going to be able to get under like 70,000 credits. So that is really surprising. I think though we need to go back to another old obvious choice. This is the Vauxhall Monaro VXR. You might remember it from Forza Horizon 4 for winning the challenge for the cheapest car to hit 200 miles an hour. Could it be the same thing here? The nice thing about the Vauxhall Monaro is it's already got a big beefy engine. I can get some twin turbos strapped to it for basically no credits, which is really nice. And then I can upgrade those twin turbos for, again, not that much money and get some pretty decent speed out of the thing. My race camshafts, that's probably going to be worth it. And you know what? To actually just make my car a little bit lighter, 
I guess I'll go for a race exhaust. I'm definitely gonna want some weight reduction. 25,000 on the car, 19,000 on upgrades. If this thing actually works, that'll be really surprising. Doing our first jump in the night as well. It's actually got more grip than I thought it would for a car that's, I mean, 900 horsepower and on stock tires. Everything is gonna depend on our top speed, 190 miles an hour. It's not that fast, come on. Give me a little bit more speed. 210, 215, we're gonna hit the jump at. It's a nice, smooth jump, though. Oh, we might not make it. Ooh. I think I might need a little bit of a longer run-up, kind of through the jungle. Extra long run-up for the Vauxhall Monaro, straight through the fence. And we're already doing 100 miles an hour from where we were just starting on the last attempt. Come on. Oh, this feels faster to 190 miles an hour. I think my tire pressure trick actually helped a pretty considerable amount. 220 miles an hour. We got to by the end of the runway. It doesn't jump far, though. It's almost like the Vauxhall Monaro is too heavy. I'm gonna go back to the festival because I don't think that's the play. You know what? I wanna try one more thing with this Supra because I think I might be able to get it to work. 38,000 spent on the car, 1,000 on the turbo. That's 43,400. That's gotta work. Let's go from here. Come on, Supra. Come on, not too much wheel spin. I'm doing 84 miles an hour at the start of the drag strip or the runway. So that's not bad. 210 miles an hour, 220, 230 miles an hour. Are you kidding me? Break again. Do the little brake trick. That should work. That should be it. Come on. Yes. Yes. 43,000. 400 credits. This is about to be a big problem. I only have one more idea. I'm gonna use exactly the same car again. I'm basically gonna do the exact same thing, but instead of adding on the biggest turbo, I'm gonna add on like the second to biggest one, which should save me a little bit of money. Single turbo, thank you very much, 1,800 credits, and then upgrade my turbo. Instead of spending 5,400 credits, I'm going to spend 3,600 credits. It's, oh, that's a lot less. Oh, boy. We are using all of the available road. I'm literally starting on a mountain all the way off of the runway. Come on. Here we go. 100 miles an hour. 120, 130 miles an hour at the start of the drag strip. Come on. I can't believe this is working. No way. No way. 220 miles an hour. 225. 229 miles an hour. And I didn't even press the brake. Easy. Easy. Yo. Are you kidding me? What did we just spend? I spent 38,000 on the car again. 41,600 credits. I don't know if we can beat that. Absolutely nothing in this list can rival that super. The Monaro, as I showed, is not gonna work. I've got to try the Monaro again. I spent 25,000 on the car and 13,000 on upgrades. This is 38,000. If we can actually do 240 miles an hour like the game says we can for only 38k, that's kind of crazy. 190. That can go 200. 200 miles an hour. 205 to 208. We're going to hit the jump at. Oh my god, and it drops. It drops like a stone. I'm going to I'm going to tune my tire pressure here. We're gonna crank the tire pressure all the way to the max. That should get us a couple extra miles an hour. I might have one more idea. 215 miles an hour we hit the jump at there. It's still gonna drop like a rock. Oh. That was so close. Hello, Nathan. All right, so Nathan's in the Supra. I'm gonna go run all the way up here. Is this gonna work? I have no idea if this is gonna work. But this is such a cheese idea, it's not even funny. Go, Nathan! Nathan, I need more speed! Nathan, I need a lot more speed! Alright, uh... So there seems to be a little bit of a problem with our communication. 
You can also see the difference between a car that flies well. All right, the man never came down. Here we go. Yes. Oh my God, I'm faster than the super van. No, I'm not. Yes. Yes. This is the type of cheating that we need. 215, 216, 220. Uh-oh. Please, please land. Please land. Please land. Oh! Nathan just sent me a clip and he said 39,000. So this is the clip that Nathan sent me. And then what happens? Because he's only doing 190, 200 miles an hour. And then he got a boost right on the jump. No. My day is ruined. Hit me! Just, just push me in the air, Deuce! <laughs> No way. What? Get ready to do the punt. I'm doing 215. Yes. 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 Please. Please. No. Unfortunately, I think we need to congratulate Nathan and Coco on their combined effort. 39,800 credits spent and a little bit of cheating. If you think you can beat it, Good luck. Let me know what silly challenge we should try next. <laughs>